Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Palacio card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card that is 5'9 with high, high work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, and a 4-star weak foot in regards to his in-games. He has 97 acceleration with 93 sprint speed, which, to be honest, is pretty decent. His shooting stats are actually very, very good with 99 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, and base stats of 92 shot power. Long shots is definitely something that we could improve on the card um, if people want to do that with this card uh, because it also depends on the traits as well he actually has the finesse shot trait so that's really really nice uh, but the shot power boost as well as the finishing boost is very very good for this card um, again for base card stats passing on this card is pretty good as well you don't often do long passing anyways it's mostly short passing long passing you will do from time to time but for your strikers it's more about just kind of like playing those short little passes with your midfielders and attacking like that uh he does have really good shooting stats look volley volley's at 99 penalties at 99 as well dribbling stats on this card his agility is at 93 96 91 okay so we could improve that a little bit. You guys know how I am when it comes to dribbling. We could totally do something with that. But we'll see what chemistry style will make the most sense for a card like this. Uh, we also have his physical stats at 99 jumping, 91 stamina. So it makes him a usable card in game, especially with his uh, high, high work rate. So that's pretty good as well. Uh, he has 80 strength. So 80 strength with a 5 foot 9 height. His body type, I want to see what his body type is, actually, because I'm kind of curious. His body type is a lean body type, so the dribbling should actually be pretty decent on this card. People decide to give him a maestro chemistry style, which makes sense, because a maestro, I think, actually messes with long shots. If I'm not mistaken, maestro would be this one right here. So it does actually mess with long shots. It gives him the shot power boost, a little bit of a dribbling boost, as well as a passing boost. So we'll definitely slap that on him. Um, I want to try him out as a... Lone striker mostly, just to see what his movement is going to be like. This card could actually be really good, even though he's a four-star, four-star player. Uh, I wish he had the outside foot shot trade for the lack of five-star weak foot, because then this card would be freaking nuts, right? But I, th I still think for an 84-rated squad, it's a pretty cool card, you know? So, let's go ahead and just give him the Maestro Chemistry style. We're going to see how he performs. I do want to use him as a striker on Balance Instructions. Because on balance instructions, again, you can kind of test out the player's capabilities, what uh, tactics and instructions make the most sense on him, all that good stuff, right? So we'll switch to the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do. It'll be this one right here. Switch that, switch that. Palacio up top. My boy, my boy Abra is an absolute monster. Already having this all set up. What a beautiful man. Yeah, Palacio up top is a striker. Maybe I'll try him out on a two-striker formation too, but mostly I like to try the player as a lone striker because you can kind of tell because of the certain patterns in this game, how he's going to move anyways. Um, I have a huge like towards agile, high, high work rate players in the striker position because they kind of offer a good balance in regards to attacking and kind of being in the midfield as well. So I want to see if he kind of offers that to me as we're using him in the game. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Okay, so Matuidi's card. Oh, he actually got the Matuidi card with Griezmann there. Johan Cruyff. Maybe he got that from the SBC. Who knows, dude? Some people get really lucky with that type of stuff. He's already running in a straight line right here. He starts to come back really quickly. Ooh. His dribbling is actually really nice. I guess it's because of the height, the lean body type. All of that stuff is going to be really relevant. We also give him a little bit of a dribbling boost as well. So, not too bad. Those shots, like I said, guys, uh, you know, you can test them as much as you want, but the players are not always going to consistently hit the sides, even if they have, like, amazing shooting stats, you know? Because it's not, like, one of the consistent shots, really. Okay, it doesn't make that angled run right there, which I totally like, to be honest. Doesn't, it wouldn't make sense for him to do that there. The next shot? Ha, I love the I, I love the finesse shot trait. I really do, man. It makes such a big difference for cards like this. Dudes, I, I honestly he's following some certain patterns really nicely so far. It's it's a cool card for an 84 rated team, to be fair. It's fun, man. You guys know how I view FIFA in regards to that stuff. As long as it doesn't feel like a Rafael Leal, like I'm down, you know? Ooh, he makes a run. I just timed that play a little bit off right there. But he is aggressive pushing forward. It's pretty nice.
This guy's committing a lot on the attack, so we have to take advantage of that and actually score a lot of goals against him. Oh, simple pass to the fullback. My goalie throws it like that. Ooh, stops his run. Ah, oh, that touch is not really settled that well, right? So when it kind of comes off of a touch like that and he does like the, the push touch forward, he's not really going to do a good finesse shot right there. So it's not going to be one of the consistent ways um, to hit one of those things. We're going to go ahead and take off cut pass lanes because I personally don't like the way that that moves. These ones have to be on comeback in the fence as well. I think Messi is the only one that has low stamina for that, but I'm going to switch to those tactics. A lot of openings in the middle for him to work with. He takes a lot of sideways runs, right? You can kind of see uh, that's what he likes to do the most. So it's something that's definitely noticeable. So when players like to do that, you just have to wait for their transitioning run back into the middle, right? Like he'll make that sideways run, then he'll make the angled run upwards. That's what you have to wait for with cards like this. Oh, am I going to get that? No, oh, that would have been a good goal too. I wish he went in with his rifle right there. Oh, great finish there with Ribery. Nice little uh, five-star weak foot right there. Go, oh, Palacio. His dribbling is actually really responsive, dudes. Oh, that was such a that was such a generic shot right there. I put so much power. It wasn't even a driven shot right there. Man, I thought he would hit a better shot right there. I'm trying to go for that near post angle, you know. Hit him with that finesse shot, Vidal. Very, very nice. Let's go. Yeah, so Palacio's characteristic, guys, is to make aggressive runs to the side. That's uh, that's the one thing I'm noticing with this card on the balance instructions. Um, I'm going to try him out on Stay Central this time. Like I was saying earlier, dudes, you know what, man? For an 84 rated team, this card is actually really fun to use because he's really responsive, right? The body type and the dribbling stats that he has is very, very noticeable in game. We just have this set to... F uh, we're going to put 5 and 5... Five and four depth lower to compensate for fullbacks over committing too much. Uh, it's it's weird, man, because I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just how this game is. But when you have all these guys coming back on the fence, I'm telling you, you attack better because players are closer to you for you to go on the attack a little bit better. You know, it's just one of those things. It just feels that way. Um, the reason why I want to try him on stay central, guys, is because I want to see if he still follows that characteristic where he pushes to the side. But I want him to aggressively push back into the middle when he goes to the side. Ozimane does that a lot, so I want to see if Palacio does the same thing. Oh, do, 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 with the foot champs, Messi. Diego Carlos in that team as well. It's a nice team. It's cool. Okay, boys. Let's try him out on Stay Central this time. Oh, man, I should have put more power into that. I don't know if Messi has the outside foot shot trade, but if he did in that situation, that's a jeej. Just pure dribbles with the man there. Oh, let's go. Oh, and I don't score that because uh, the finishing, it's because I don't, when you get too close to the goalkeeper, I'm telling you guys, bro, you got to do those mechanics to score them more consistently, man. I even went for the finesse shot right there and it didn't even register. Oh, that's a jeej. Yeah. <laughs> once you have the finesse shot traits, man, uh, once you get that angle, it's a GG with Palacio. I really like him on the state central instruction so far, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. He's playing well. He's positioning himself really nicely. Nice fake shot. Woo! Oh, he stops. That's nice. It's good that he doesn't overcommit right there into the... Uh, Offside position. Nice little defensive presence. High, high work rates playing a very nice part right there. You know what, dude? This card on comeback in the fence, stay central instructions. <laughs> he, he looks kind of he looks kind of cool. Oh, man, I wish. You know what? I should try to go for a finesse shot when I'm that close to the goalkeeper after a flick little play right there. Palacio's moving really nicely on stay central, though, boys. I, I'm liking the card a lot. I think for the price of 84k, I mean 84k, 84 rated, I think it's incredibly fair for what he offers. You see how Messi just depletes his stamina and come back in the fence? <laughs>
All right, guys, so final verdict on the uh, Rodrigo Palacio card is that, yo, for 95k, this is a really fun card to use, man. I'm being dead serious with you guys. I mean, listen, there's a lot of cards nowadays where, yeah, he doesn't have the five-star weak foot, he doesn't have this and that. But it's a 95k card that is an incredibly usable version of Palacio's card being an Argentinian striker from the Serie A. So there's different concepts you can work with there. I like to look at FIFA from a more fun perspective in regards to using players because it's always different rather than like, oh, if it's meta or not, right? So in regards to what this card offers in game, the Maestro chemistry style worked really well for him. I feel like you can actually give him any instruction that you want and he'll actually perform really well because even when I had him on balance instructions from the first game, um, he was moving around the pitch really nicely. I just preferred him more on stage central just because of my play style and in regards to how I want my players to move because he he still chooses to be pretty aggressive, but there are situations in game where you do want to take out the state central and put him on balance so he kind of like spreads out the play more because naturally he likes to run to the sides and then once you start to transition into the middle with your CDMs and your cams, he'll do the same thing afterwards, right? So it just depends on the situation of the game, but his off the ball movement is really good. The only thing that I wish he had was the five star weak foot because he doesn't have the outside foot shot trait, but the finesse shot trait is obviously very noticeable in the game. Uh, with shooting guys, whether it's a cross goal, whether it's near post, like if I hit a near post strike from a settled touch and it's just a power strike, it's going to go in regardless of his shooting stats because the game is very linear in that way. Players are not going to feel different in regards to like different types of finishes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because the consistent shots will be consistent and the RNG shots will still be RNG regardless. So, um, I, li I just wanted to test out his finesse shot trade to see if it worked really nicely with him, and it definitely did, right? So, you know, if you go for the typical, like, near post strike with him as well, again, he does have shot power of base card stats of 92, and then with the Maestro Chemistry style, you're making it a 99. So, again, I, I do feel like he's going to feel mostly like his 92. That's just how I feel in regards to how the players perform in game, but... The 99 finishing, the 99 attacking positioning, all that stuff, super noticeable in game. It works really well, there's high, high work rates, and having him on comeback and defense, being a high, high worker to player would be really sick. So for 95k, guys, you can't go wrong for the fun concept of the card because he's actually incredibly usable. There's been cards that they cost like 170, 200, but they're a little bit more stiff on the ball, but you can find ways to make them work, but this card's actually the like responsive and he moves around the pitch really nicely because of his lean body type and good base stats for his dribbling. So... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.